Beckham, Hugh Dillon, Alan Hocko, and Callum Keith Rennie. How you doing? Are you going to finish your speech? You got to thank me. Oh, yeah, and me. I, 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 got, I got cut off. I'd like to thank both of you, and especially Helen Shaver, for directing such a great episode. <laughs> nice. Over the course of the year, the women in this category have brilliantly portrayed a wide range of characters. From an alcoholic mother to police detectives and everything in between, their characters have moved us and made us think. Let's uh, take a look at the uh, nominees. The nominees for best performance by an actress in a continuing leading dramatic role are Erin Karpluck, being Erica. My life, my life is not this. Carmen Moore, Blackstone. I'm going to pretend that you didn't say that. Kristen Pellerin, Republic of Doyle. Would you please don't mess with this? Lauren Lee Smith, The Listener. I need to find out what's going on in that game besides poker. Camille Sullivan, Shatter. Sometimes it just comes over me like an hundred times. Michelle Thrush, Blackstone. You what, tongue little girl? And the Gemini goes to Michelle Thrush, Blackstone. so freaked out right now. I just want to thank Ron Scott at Prairie Dog and Jessica Szymanski. Oh, <laughs> she's my date and I can't even get her name right. Um, thank you to everybody who is at Blackstone Productions, Prairie Dog Film and Television for being there for me. This was an incredibly dark journey I was on. I just want to say thank you also to my family and everyone who loves me. And I want to dedicate this award to Gordon Tatusis, who we lost this year at Canadian Icon in Film and Television and his family. I love you all. 